Do you have one of these old MacBook Air that's running a very old version of macOS? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use OpenCore Legacy Patcher and install macOS Ventura on one of these old MacBook Airs. So let's get started. For my testing, I am using a 2012 MacBook Air. This MacBook Air has a 2 gigahertz dual core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, and also an Intel 4000 HD integrated graphics. So the first thing you're going to need is a USB flash drive with at least 16 gigabytes of capacity. You're also going to need your Mac model identifier, the open core legacy patcher, and don't forget to back up your data. Now there are two ways you can make the patcher. One, you could either use the unsupported MacBook Air and make the open core patcher on that machine, or you can use a different Mac to make the patcher as well. In my testing, I'm using a different Mac to make the patcher for my unsupported MacBook Air. The next thing you want to do is you want to visit the open core legacy patchers website and download the latest version. Once you have downloaded the open core legacy patcher zip file, unzip that file and either place the open core patcher on your desktop or downloads and also at this time plug in your flash drive and once you have plugged in your flash drive go ahead and launch the open core patcher once the open core legacy patcher software is open it should automatically detect the model of the macbook air that you're using now in my case i have to go to settings because i'm using a different machine to make the patcher so i go to settings and i select the proper mac model identifier you can visit the system report section and look for the Mac model identifier for your machine. Once you have selected the proper Mac model identifier, go ahead and click on return to main menu, click on create Mac OS installer and then download Mac OS installer. And it's going to pull up the installer catalog. Go ahead and select Mac OS 13.0.1. And this process can take a while. Once the installer has been placed to your applications folder, go ahead and click on flash installer. Click on install macOS Ventura and then select your USB flash drive. It's going to format the flash drive and the process will take a while. So be patient and we'll wait until it's finished. Once that process is finished, you're going to see this window right here and go ahead and click on install open core to disk. Next thing you want to select is install to disk. Make sure to choose the USB flash drive. So go ahead, click on your flash drive, and then click on the EFI partition of the flash drive. And now it's gonna install the open core into that partition. And once you're done, click on OK, and then click on return to main menu, close out the open core legacy patcher website, eject the flash drive from the computer that you're using to make the patcher. And now you're ready to use it on the unsupported MacBook Air. So here's my 2012 MacBook Air and I've already plugged in the flash drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna click on restart and hold down the option key. And we're gonna wait till we see our EFI boot logo. So we click on the EFI boot logo or select it and then select the install macOS Ventura. And we're gonna wait until it boot into the installer. Next up, we're going to select the preferred language. I'm going to select English and I'm just going to click on install Mac OS Ventura and click on continue and then click on agree. And I'm just going to click on Macintosh HD. That's my internal drive from this MacBook Air. And I'm just going to do an upgrade. I'm not going to do a clean install. And this process is going to take a while. So be a little patient, wait a while, take a break and come back and check on it. Once the upgrade has been finished, I was able to log back in and I'm just going to log in using my existing admin account and you'll quickly go through the setup process again. But once that's finished, you'll be back on your desktop. So all the patches has already been automatically installed. So you don't have to do any post installation. What you will need to do is to install the open core legacy patcher directly onto the internal flash drive. So what you need to do is on the MacBook Air, you need to go to the Open Core Legacy Patcher and download the patcher to that MacBook Air computer. Once you have the Open Core Legacy Patcher software on the MacBook Air, go ahead and open up and then select Build and Install Open Core. And then click on Install to Disk. 
Now this time we're gonna install open core on the internal drive on our MacBook Air. So we select the internal drive and then select the EFI partition. And the reason why we need to do this is because this will allow us to boot into macOS Ventura without using the flash drive. Once you have finished, click on return to menu, close out the open core legacy patcher, and also eject the flash drive from your computer and reboot your computer. Make sure you're able to boot back into macOS Ventura without using a flash drive. So my experience with Mac OS Ventura on this MacBook Air has been all right. Um, all the USB ports work, the SD card slot works, the Thunderbolt port works, and I was also able to use Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and also to use AirDrop as well. Um, I'm not seeing any kind of you know, weird graphics issue, but I know there are some, I just have not encountered them yet. And we'll talk more about that later on in this video. But overall, my experience has been positive. I also wanted to test out if I could boot into my existing bootcamp. Um, I have Windows 10 installed on that MacBook Air via bootcamp. I, I want to see, does it still work after I install Mac OS Ventura using Open Core Legacy Patcher? And to my surprise, my Windows 10 bootcamp partition is still intact. I was able to log in and use it as well. One of the things you could do if you are experiencing issues after installing Mac OS Ventura on a 2012 MacBook Air is to redo the post install root patch. So go ahead, open up Open Core Legacy Patcher and then select post install root patch and then click on reinstall root patches. What that will do, it will just reinstall the, the patches that are meant for this MacBook Air. And don't forget to reboot the computer after you have reinstalled the patches. You'll also want to check out the Open Core Legacy Patcher's GitHub page, specifically the Legacy Metal Graphics Support area. This is the section where they'll list all the issues that are ongoing with some of the graphics issues that you might experience with this particular machine or other machines as well. For example, they listed black screen on continuity camera. And I can confirm that because I try using continuity camera and it only show a black screen. But that's how you install Mac OS Ventura on an unsupported MacBook Air. If you don't want to install Mac OS Ventura on an unsupported Mac, check out my video right here on how to install Mac OS Monterey on an old MacBook Pro.